I've had a lot of questions since I posted my last video about how I make this work, um, storing my Hobonichi in my Malden. And um, I, it came about because of the um, limitations of not the Hobonichi in particular, but bound planners in general. Um, a few, well, let me just start here. I, I don't, I can, you know, write on it while it's in the Malden. Uh, but normally I will take it out to do that. Um, and then use the Malden for a little bit of support. So, I don't really know how to explain it. It's, it's really a whole planning system, um, more than it is using two planners. It's really one thing because they don't, um, what each of these does doesn't overlap. So... I'm using this to plan and I'm using this to store um, primarily um, information. This is really planning and this is really information that I need to refer to either frequently or infrequently, but if I don't have it, it's an issue. Uh, I never had problems finding things in my file of facts or in a ring binder. Um, because I can, you know, tab them, I can make a divider, I can lump like information together, um, and when something like a Malden has 300 pages, yes, it's a, a little bit difficult to find things, but you can arrange things so there's some rhyme or reason, whereas there's no arranging in a bound planner. And that was a big hurdle for me. Um, I think the biggest hurdle was that it that it's essentially a calendar that goes year, month, week, day. And that isn't the way I've ever um, had a calendar arranged. Uh, after I got over that, it was not having paper that I can you know, pull out and write notes on uh, and give to somebody else or put somewhere else, which I can with a file of facts. And probably the third issue, well, there, the third issue was um, these kind of rulers uh, work really well for me. And with more than one, I can mark all kinds of things. Um, there is no page marker on the planner itself. Um, there are two page markers of the ribbon kind on the um, covers, but I just don't like them. I'm not sure why, um, but I don't like the ribbon markers. So I needed to find a way to do a few things that uh, that that made sense to me. Um, that weren't part of the Hobonichi system, really. Um, so, I mean, it was easy to get extra paper. It was just a matter of, you know, post-it notes. Uh, I used my Malden to store papers so I could write letters. I, I can't do that as easily here. Um, but what I did... And I also store receipts, uh, large printable, you know, like a, like if I go to the vet and the vet prints out a receipt, I put it in, in there. Or if I order something online, I punch holes in it and put it in there just until it's either paid or it's received or whatever reason I needed to uh, keep it is over. Um, what I've done with the Hobonichi is I used one of the um, Midori rubber bands 
and and I put it in here and now I have a way to do uh, temporary storage of um, these kind of printout receipts and any other receipts. Um, I put some grocery receipts in there. I've put other things in here. Um, because as you use this, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to put a lot of receipts in here. It's kind of like a temporary thing until whatever I need resolved is resolved. And if it goes on for a long time, then I put it in my Malden uh, in the rings. Um, I've started yesterday um, a better way for me to do uh, a grocery list. I tend to buy the same thing um, over and over, and so if I if I, I I mean I don't need to write lettuce and onions and cucumbers. Those are really the things that I normally buy. So I made tabs with general categories like produce and cheese and bread and deli um, because nine times out of ten those things represent exactly the same thing. So you know I, I know when I go to buy cheese what I'm buying. Um, and then I just made this, I laminated this little these were out of the International Flow magazine uh, this month. There was a whole page of these really nice um, little vintage designs from sewing patterns. And I just took them apart and I put them in this, um, which is actually another good way to store things. This was uh, something I got uh, when I got my glasses. There was a cleaning cloth and it came in this little pouch and whatever I need to store in here I put it in here you know it's a credit card size thing and I just clip it um, to the Hobonichi but anyway so I've got these general categories and one of these little laminated cards and I just stick them on here um, I don't know if this is going to work for me I'm really making an attempt to not rewrite everything uh, a lot of times but, um, so back to this, so finding things was challenging for me, um, and I ended up tabbing, doing a lot of tabbing. Um, I, I tabbed the, the year page, the month page, and the week page, although I usually use something else for the daily page, and, um, I have a clear pocket. Uh, stuck to the inside cover for um, random stuff. I have some more uh, sticky notes. And things I write in here that I'm going to need to find again, like recipes in particular, I tabbed the top. So my recipe tabs are on the top. It's, it's, it's a translucent uh, uh, page flag and I just used my label maker uh, for most of them and uh, it, I put a tab on the front, a tab on the back and then I the label maker has clear tape and I just wrap the whole thing around and it stays together and it's been here since May. This one's been here since May and it's really fine. Um, the combination of the two flags and the Label maker tape has really um, kept it okay. And these, um, because this is in Japanese, it's it's very weird. I, I mean, I I can tell that this is um, May twentieth, but I'm not used to registering numbers quite as fast as if I I read it. So um, what I did in June is I, I actually went over the, see these are the are five, so this is for May, 
and starting for June and July, I, I covered these with, um, you know, flags. And see, now I can't find it. Oh, and I actually started writing the date on them. Um, and this just makes it easy. I don't know why. I mean, I should be able to know that 7-7 seven, seven is July, but for whatever reason, um, this is quicker for me. Um, so that's another, now th there's a disadvantage to that. It has become very thick because of that. Um, not sure I mind that very much, and this is easier for me to find where I am in the book. You know, there's hundreds of pages here, and trying to find information was really challenging. So, so I've done, you know, all of these things to try to, I mean, I can't turn it into a ring binder, although... I've had more than one person say, gee, I should cut these apart and punch them, but I really just don't want to do that. I mean, it's, I'm really looking forward to when I'm done with this planner, putting it on the shelf and having a cohesive archive, which I never have. I have random pages everywhere, but a cohesive archive of one year, totally in context. And these, you know, all these things I do um, with the Eclipse and also paper clips and tabs and flags and you know these on the weekly pages mean one thing and this one means something else um, is all me trying to not turn it into a bound planner but trying to personalize it in a way that makes sense um, to me. So I hope that that answered some questions um, about how I'm making this work, being that I was so used to uh, using a file of facts. I mean, the truth is I'm still using a file of facts. Um, it's, I, I'm just not using it for the calendar part. and. I mean, there's a considerable amount of stuff here that I still feel like I need, um, if not daily, then at least frequently. Um, and I also have the ability to store. Um, it's a much more sturdy um, unit than, you know, this is. Um, when I had the cover on this, this was definitely fine. I wouldn't have a problem. If I had it to do over again, though, I think I would buy the leather cover um, and possibly the leather zip cover, although I don't really like zips, but the zip covers have a pocket, um, similar like the wallet pockets and some of the pocket filofaxes, and that would really be helpful um, with regards to, uh, you know, s storing these kind of papers that I'm storing. So um, that's sort of... I, I hope that that answered the questions. Um, if I didn't answer something, um, you know, sh let me know. Um, if I forgot something, let me know. Uh, I'm trying to remember all this, and that's not really a strong, strong suit of mine. So thank you. Thanks so much, guys. I'm really enjoying everybody's um, Hobonichi videos and um, the uh, One Book July 2014 videos. And I mean, I just enjoy all your videos in general. So, um, you know, they're like entertainment. I, I don't remember who was talking about it on Facebook, but it was like watching YouTube instead of TV. And I really do that. I mean, I, I have the TV off more than I've ever had it off in my life. And I'm looking for, YouTube videos on a better way to plan or a better way to paint or a better way to draw or just cooking or entertainment or, you know, whatever. So thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video.